Hey, honey. Can I kiss you? Well, I don't know if I can handle it. We should have done this to Nixon before the debate. The arrogance of that campaign. It's infuriating. Being incumbent is even harder. You can't just sit on your ass and look presidential. You shouldn't get yourself so worked up. It's not good for your health. I missed you, you know that, right? I missed you too. Oh, Joni. Oh, Joni, Joni. Look at that mouth. You're not doing my lips. My vogue is a little bit too dark for yours. But I have some lighter lipstick. So you're gonna draw freckles on my face like Raggedy Andy? Look, I wanna tell you something because you're very dear to me. And I hope you understand that it's coming from my damaged, damaged heart. You are the finest piece of ass that I ever had. And I don't care who knows it. I'm just glad that I got to be with you. Stop it. I mean it. I've had a lot of time to think about the things that I've done and what I've been sorry about, and being with you is not one of them. Oh, Blue, that's not the reaction I wanted. You look better. Peggy, we both had good days today. You can leave your post. It's 4.30. It's the best I can do at this point. I've got a lot of work to do. You can have your raise. And I'll talk to Miss Halloway about getting someone to occasionally hold down the fort while you attend to your assignment. It's very exciting. Let's go. You should go out with your friends. Celebrate. Find one of those bars with the icy lettering in the window. Get drunk. Thank you. Oh, uh, Mr. Draper. Yes, Peggy? Um, I don't want to seem ungrateful, but I think I could serve you and, and Sterling Cooper much better if I had my own desk as a copywriter. Do you have a desk? Yes, but now I have radio spots. <laughs> Peggy, the conversation of a race is not inappropriate at the moment, but don't be timid. You presented like a man, now act like one. I want five dollars more a week. What do you make? Thirty-five dollars. Jesus, that's like a fifteen percent kick.
Peggy, we've both had a few days. You can leave your post. It's 4.30. That's the best I can do at the moment. I've got a lot of work to do. I'll give you your raise. I'll talk to Miss Holloway about getting someone who can hold down the fort occasionally while you attend to your assignment. <gasps> That's very exciting. Let's go. You should go celebrate with your friends. Find one of those bars with the icy letters in the window. Get too drunk. Oh, thank you. How would I mean your dinner? Well, I called the office and there was no answer. Did I fix it? No. I had a meeting with a client, but it got canceled. Oh. I got partner. Oh, done. That's so wonderful. Don, you were right about letting people in the house. I'm so sorry. I don't want to talk about that. You sure you don't want something to eat? I don't know. Did you eat yet? I forgot to. The heat is supposed to break tomorrow. I heard. It's supposed to start snowing in two weeks. Is he dead? No. Quite the contrary. He's, he's at home convalescing. And? And? I want to make you partner. Well, it's a symbolic gesture. I think talking about that in here is in bad taste. Oh, come, come. That's the way it's done. Roger knows that. And we're not adding you to the masthead. We're simply restoring faith to our clients. I accept. Start you at 12%. See how you and Roger do. You'll stay on as creative director, and as far as fulfilling the head of account services, you are the only one in the Blue Ribbon Committee. Do I hire from the inside or the outside? I just made you partner. Do I have to do everything? And don't hold me to some ridiculously long contract. No contract. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Beware the nonconformist. I should introduce you to Miss Ayn Rand. I think she'd salivate. Congratulations. Thank you. What's happened? Did he die? No. So when's he coming back? You know, this office is too big for me. I might need it when I Laura and Marty Brennan in his head account services. Then it's true! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I mean it. You know I admire your work. I know. I hope you do. And I don't think it can be denied that we make a great team. And you're a team player. Good to hear. You know what? I like this office. I think Roger would like me to have it. That way he can always know he can have it back. I hope you know that I would love to throw my hat in the ring. I know. 